Hi guys and welcome to Bradio Software Development Channel. Hi guys and welcome to Bradio Software Development Channel. Um, today we're going to be talking about the M1 chip and Docker. Now I've read a few articles online that I'm going to show you now. Switch my screen over to my VNC for my Mac. Um, and as you can see here, this was just about a month ago. Um, and it says that um, Docker doesn't support M1 chips. Now, granted, if we actually read the text on the article, <clears throat> if we look at the third paragraph here, there's actually a link to their blog post on Docker. So if we go ahead and open that up, this is the original um, blog entry by Bender St. Pager Gotch. Uh, I can't pronounce that. Um, and in here he talks about um, Docker being quite far away from being being able to be run natively on the M1 because it is using Rosetta 2. So if we read here, it does it does say, although Apple has released Rosetta 2 to help with applications to M1 chips, this does not get us all the way through with Docker Desktop. Under the hood of Docker Desktop, we run a virtual machine to achieve this on Apple's new hardware. We need to move on to Apple's new hypervisor framework. Um, we also need to do all the plumbing that provides the core experience of Docker Desktop, allowing you to Docker run from your terminal as you can today. Uh, I know on here, there's a, uh, in the comments down here, there's a lot of talk of like Parallels. So uh, someone wrote here, once Parallels is ready, at least you uh, should be able to run Docker inside Linux inside Parallels. Um, <laughs> I'm sure they started working on this back at WWDC. Docker is used by a lot of Mac users. Yeah, I just don't... Um, I don't understand the worry around it, to be honest. Um, again, might be totally missing something, but it's um, it's really not a problem for my development workflow. I've managed to do loads of stuff with this um, and push stuff to Docker Hub as well, and it runs on, um, and I have tested stuff on Kubernetes as well. I might make a video about that um, just to show you that it does work, but I think the preview is up to scratch and it, it's, it is worth, um, you know, you don't have to wait until the summer to use uh, the M1 chip if you're just a software developer or web developer or whatever. If I come to the Docker notes, now there's a few known issues, but it looks like you can do it. And I, the proof is in the pudding, as they say, because I've been using Docker on my uh, Mac M1 for since I've got it, which was back in uh, about two weeks after it came out. So I really have no idea what they're talking about. One of the known issues, uh, if I go to the last one, it says the restart option of Docker menu may not work, but I've used it multiple times and it works fine. So as you can see, I just clicked restart. There we go, it's just restarted. So I have no idea what it's talking about really. Um, so if we just read through the known issues, so the tech preview does not build automatically. That's pretty standard for an alpha or beta release. You'll have to like go and find out if there's an update and then download it and update it. I think that I'm well, well behind. Uh, you need to install Rosetta 2, which is pretty standard as well. Rosetta 2 is Apple's native uh, emulation software and it works quite seamlessly with most of my apps that I've got. Uh, there's something about DNS. Uh, I haven't got that far with DNS stuff. I've never uh, pushed anything live yet with Docker, uh, although um, I probably will come across these issues with Kubernetes when I eventually um, get to that point in my app uh, series that I'm doing. Um, HTT proxy is not enabled, I uh, haven't needed to use that. So there's this one here as well, not all images are available for ARM64. You can add dash dash platform Linux slash AMD64 to run an Intel image under emulation. Because bear in mind this is almost like Docker Preview is running in Rosetta 2. So it's like an emulation within an emulation. Um, I think Elon Musk said something about this at some point. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm not exactly sure how it's doing that, but it's very clever regardless. Um, but I'm gonna show you now why it doesn't actually matter um, about images not being available for ARM64, because if we go to uh, Docker Hub that I have open now, and we look at the container registry, if we scroll down and we look for x86, which is the Intel um, architecture, you can see all the popular images here. So we've got Redis, uh, Node, Ubuntu, MarioDB. And if we look on the tags, you see it says ARM64, ARM64, ARM64. And then if we go even further down to Python, ARM64, Nginx, ARM64, HTTPD, which is uh, like Apache, uh, ARM64, uh, ARM64 and ARM, and the list goes on. And every 
nearly every image that I found on here, I haven't actually been able to find one that doesn't have an ARM64 tag. So you'll never ever need to use that flag. Uh, I promise you, you'll never need to use it. Unless you're using some really obscure, new in development image. You'll, and, e and even then, you know, they're gonna cater for the ARM64 because they know that people are using them now. So I wouldn't even worry about no support being available on Docker Preview for ARM64. I really wouldn't. It's not gonna be a problem for you. Um, and then the last one is the kernel may panic, um, which I have not had. Um, and the restart option in Docker, which is one we discussed at the beginning. So um, that's just my short video. Uh, I'm not going to talk about anything else because I just wanted to explain to people that you can use Docker on the M1 and it works. It's been working since day one and I've never had any issues with it. So um, I'll put all the links in the description. Um, if you think that I'm wrong, uh, or uh, I've missed something then let me know in the comments and I'll try and address them and if it's something worth making another video on then I'll do that and I'll make another video so um, thanks for watching uh, like comment subscribe and all of that good stuff and I'll catch you next time ciao